Dr. Vijay Lakshmi is working as a professor in the Department of ECE, Anna University, Chennai. She has more than 17 years of experience in teaching. She has published more than 90 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She has organized more than 10 workshops and has attended more than 40 workshops and seminars. She has guided more than 100 projects in both UG and PG level. She is supervising 14 research scholars. She has established an AICTE-sponsored MODROB project for VLSI Lab. She has an endowment award for the top rank holder in PG degree and has four cash awards for producing 10% of result in Anna University curriculum. She is a life member in various professional bodies like ISTE and IETE. She has specialized in mobile communication, microprocessor and microcontroller, digital system, computer networking and neural networks. Welcome to UGC lecture series. Electronics Practicals MATLAB Programming. In today's episode, we will discuss about Fourier transform. The Fourier transform will suitable for a periodic signal. A Fourier series is suitable for periodic signal. So, today how to solve Fourier transform and how to develop the MATLAB programming will be discussed. Generally, the signal is represented with x of t. Suppose x of t is the non periodic signal of finite duration, then the x of t is equal to 0 with the modulus function of t is greater than t. The t is a time period. So, this signal is represented like this, okay. this is a minus t, this one is t. So, x of t be a non periodic signal of finite duration that is x of t equal to 0 with the modulus t represents minus t to plus t with the period is capital T. If suppose if you are taking x of t is a periodic signal, then x of t is represented with x of t plus t naught. If x of t is a periodic with the fundamental period t naught, then it is represented as x of t plus t naught. So, this signal is represented like this. This with respect to 0, suppose I have taken the half of the period minus t naught by 2, here t naught by 2. The another signal is t naught. So, here I have a signal. Then here another signal is at 2 t naught. So, this is a periodic signal for every t naught the signal is repeatedly comes. This is minus t naught, this one is minus 2 t naught. Okay. So, first one is a non periodic signal, second one is a periodic signal. The non periodic signal is solved by using the Fourier transform, which is shortly represented as Ft. The periodic signal is solved by the Fourier series. The function Fourier transform of the continuous signal x of t, right. So, x of t is a continuous time signal. So, after taking the Fourier transform of for x of t, then you get the output which is x of w. Okay. The function x of w defined as the Fourier transform of x of t this is a frequency response. So, here you can write it as x of omega is equal to Fourier transform of x of t, which is the limit integral minus infinity to plus infinite x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. This is a formula to find the Fourier transform. Suppose if you want to find x of t from this equation, then you write x of t equal to Fourier inverse of x of w, right. So, how we are writing? 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinite to plus infinity x of omega into e power plus j omega t into d t. Okay. So, these two are called as a f of t pair. 
F T pair that is Fourier transform pair. So, the first one is the frequency response this one is a time domain. So, the time domain signal is converted into the frequency domain then suppose if you want to get the original signal then we are doing the inverse of the Fourier transform. So, by using this form 1 by 2 pi integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x of omega into u power j omega t into d t. Okay. This x of omega and x of t is called as a f of t pair. So, it also denoted with x of t with x of omega. So, we are taking the Fourier transform in the forward direction in the reverse case we are taking the Fourier inverse. Suppose, if you want to get the Fourier transform spectrum, okay. so for the spectrum response we are getting the magnitude response and phase response or phase spectrum either you can call it with the spectrum or response. So, the magnitude response or spectrum is the absolute value of the Fourier transform. The phase response is we are getting as angle of x of omega that is Fourier transform. The phase response is denoted with pi of omega. Okay. So, after converting into the Fourier transform if you want to get the spectrum then you have to plot the magnitude response and phase response. Magnitude response is the absolute value of the Fourier transform, the phase response is angle response of the Fourier transform. In the Fourier transform it is suitable for the aperiodic signals, we have to use some conditions should be satisfied to do the Fourier transform. The convergence of Fourier transform, periodic signals sufficient conditions for the convergence of x of omega are the following titulate conditions that is the first one is x of t is absolutely integrable then x of t has a finite number of maxima and minima with any finite interval. The third one x of t has a finite number of discontinuous within any finite interval and each of this discontinuous is finite. Now, we will solve the Fourier transform suppose I ask to find the Fourier transform for the signal x of t equal to e power 2 t for t is greater than or equal to 0, 0 for t is less than 0. Okay. So, first we have to write the formula what is the formula x of omega is equal to minus infinite to plus infinite x of t into e power minus j omega t into d t right. Now, we have to substitute the value x of t x of t equal to e power 2 t. So, but the limit is here 0 greater than represents 0 to infinite. So, 0 to infinite the value is e power 2 t into e power minus j omega t into d t right. For the second condition less than 0 which represents minus infinite to 0 x of t value is 0 into e power minus j omega t into d t right. So, this term becomes 0. So, only we have this term. So, after simplifying what you get? So, 0 to infinity e power 2 minus j omega into t d t right. So, now integrate it e power x equal to that is if you have a e power 2 x then you get e power 2 x divided by 2 right the same way e power 2 minus j omega into t divided by 2 minus j omega. Now, change the limit 0 to infinity. So, e power infinity value is 0 minus e power 0 is 1. So, 1 by 2 minus j omega. So, what we get x of omega is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus j omega. Suppose, by varying the w value you can obtain the different values and also you can get the magnitude response and phase response of that. So, by writing the program we can get its response.
is a Fourier transform program for continuous time signal. So, first we assign the frequency value that is W value which is uh, taken from minus 10, minus 10 to 10 with a period of 0 0.02. Okay. If I have a constant then I will write it as uh, the equation x equal to 1.0 divided by 2 minus j omega. Now, I want to plot its response you can directly plot plot w comma absolute value of the answer comma w comma angle of your answer capital X. Okay. So, now save your program F t for continuous time now execute it capital X angle value of capital X is a case sensitive. So, we have to give it properly. So, now you get the signal right this blue color line is a magnitude response the green color is a phase response. Suppose, we have a rectangular window right or we have to find the Fourier transform for continuous time rectangular window that is take it as w of t window response which is 1 for modulus t value is less than or equal to a 0 for modulus t value is greater than a. So, now we have to find the Fourier transform Fourier transform for this that is capital W of omega which is equal to minus infinite to plus infinite w of t into e power minus j omega t into d t. So, what is the limit this is a modulus value right. So, you can take it as minus a to a the value is 1 into e power minus j omega t into d t. So, now substitute it e power minus j omega t by minus j omega after integrating now you substitute the limit minus a plus a. So, after substituting what do you get e power minus j omega a minus e power minus of minus plus j omega a divided by minus j omega. So, this is like a sign term right. So, to get it as a sign I have to multiply in both side as 2. So, what you get now 2 into now take the common term as uh, omega then here you get it as e power j omega a minus if you are taking minus out then this minus that minus also cancel. So, finally, what you get e power j omega minus e power minus j omega a divided by 2 j. So, this term become sin right. So, what do you get now 2 that is it again simplified as uh, 2 by omega sin a omega right. So, the Fourier transform answer is 2 sin a omega by omega ok. So, now you get this and write the MATLAB coding for this program and get its magnitude and phase response. Another problem just we are I am replacing the x value sin function that is 2 into sin of a multiplied with omega 
divided by omega okay so now plot frequency with respect to magnitude and frequency with respect to angle so save the program and execute it so this is a magnitude response blue color line the green color represents the phase response of the sine function or it also the sink function right this is a response of continuous time rectangular window signal another example you take it as a x of t equal to u power minus t by 2 u of t okay so now we have to find the fourier transform x of omega equal to so the u of t represents actual formula i will write minus infinite to plus infinite x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt right so now you take it u of t what it represents it is a step function right so only 0 to infinite we have so i will write 0 to infinite e power minus t by 2 into e power minus j omega t into dt so now what you get e power minus if suppose you are taking out then j omega plus 1 by 2 into t dt right integral of 0 to infinite so after integrating what you get you integrate here so e power minus j omega plus 1 by 2 okay into t divided by j omega plus 1 by 2 then you substitute the limit 0 and infinity so e power 0 is sorry e power infinite is 0 then e power 0 is 1 so what you get minus 0 minus 1 by j omega plus 1 by 2 so it further simplified as minus 2 divided by 1 plus j 2 omega So, already minus there right you get minus value so it become plus only. So, 2 by 1 plus j 2 omega suppose if you want to find the magnitude response what we want to get it should be the absolute value absolute value was considered as magnitude response then uh, the imaginary value or the phase response is the angle of this value is considered as a phase response right. The Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega minus infinity to plus infinite x of t e power minus t by 2 u of t e power minus j omega t. The u of t is replaced with 0 to infinite then we are uh, taking the common terms minus half plus j omega into t. So, after simplifying what we get 2 divided by 1 plus j 2 omega. So, now we have to get its magnitude and uh, phase response. So, from that we want to know what is the real part and imaginary part then usually what we are doing we have to do the multiplication with the complex conjugate so 1 plus j2 omega is multiplied the conjugate of this value is 1 minus j2 omega so in the numerator and denominator we multiply and simplify this in the numerator we have 2 minus j4 omega in the denominator we have 1 plus 4 omega square right so from that you take it as this one is a real part 2 by 1 plus 4 omega square then minus j 4 omega by 1 plus 4 omega square this is the imaginary part. So, from that after doing the complex conjugate multiplication now we get real and imaginary part. From this only we are finding the magnitude response which is x of omega that is absolute value or only the real value which is 2 by root of 1 plus 4 omega square. Then if you want to get the phase response then what we are doing the turn inverse of imaginary divided by the real part that is 4 omega divided by 1 plus 4 omega square divided by 2 by 1 plus 4 omega square the 4 ohm, 1 plus 4 omega square both numerators are cancelled then 4 omega by 2 which is minus 2 omega. So, this is a 
imaginary value that is face value or you can get real value of this then the imaginary value of this. So, this is a magnitude response for the given problem this is a phase response ok. So, the, the phase response value was minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 which is a 45 degree right. So, we are get it as this value. So, this is a way after giving the x of t use the formula and obtain the x of omega that is find the Fourier transform from that you find the real and imaginary part then you obtain the magnitude and phase response this is the real value of x of omega this is the imaginary value of x of omega. So, for the given e power minus t by 2 we get this kind of response. So, normally we are getting this is a x of t ok the continuous uh, time signal. So, after taking the Fourier transform this is spectrum response of the square wave signal. So, in this spectrum response you may get some in case of rectangular signal you get some harmonic values this is a magnitude response and phase response of the signal this is a magnitude response signal this is a phase response signal. In today episode we have discussed about the Fourier transform and Fourier transform pair which is to obtain its magnitude response and phase response. After discussing or after solving some problem we have developed the code how to execute the MATLAB programming. Questions? Write the merits of Fourier transform. Find the Fourier transform for e power minus a t and obtain its magnitude and phase response using MATLAB. List the Fourier transform pair. How do you get the magnitude response in Fourier transform? So, with this I wind this session. Thank you.